Hi, and thanks for joining us at Nelly Surplus. Today we'll show you how to create a DDNS account and incorporate it into the DVR settings. Before we begin, you'll want to open this URL in your browser. This is a no IP website where you can create a new account. Now what we're going to do is begin creating our no IP account. First you can pick a username and type it in the first line here. We chose Nelly Security. Then once you have a username, type in your password twice. The next field is going to be your email address. Make sure this is a valid email address because they will send you a confirmation email that activates the account. And right below your email address, you'll notice the host name. You might want to take note of that or write it down because we will be using that later. And once you're finished, scroll to the bottom and click the sign up button. Here you'll get a message confirming that a, an email is on the way with a link to activate the account. Now what we're going to do is implement our DDNS hostname into the DVR settings. What you'll want to do first is right click, select main menu from the bottom, once you have the main menu pulled up, let's select the settings option in the upper right hand corner. And once you're in the settings screen, go ahead and select network. Now you're going to see quite a few options here. Um, towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see network setting and a scroll bar. We want to scroll down just um, a little of the way, a couple clicks, and you should see an option that says DDNS and go ahead and double click on that one to pull up the DDNS options. Now that we are at the DDNS settings screen, the first step we'll want to do is select the drop down box at the top. And from that list select no IP DDNS. Once you select that you'll notice two fields that are already, or three fields that are already filled in. Server IP, port, and update period. Now what we need to do is fill in these next three fields. The first one we'll want to concentrate on is domain name. This is going to be your no IP host name. So for example the one we just set up was Nelly's oops, spell it right here. Nelly's security is the one that we used. Obviously, yours will be different. And after you have your host name, uh, Nelly Security, or whatever yours is, you want to type no dash IP and then a period org. So Nelly Security dot no IP dot org. That's going to be your domain name or your host name. Next, we'll want to concentrate on the username. Now, this can either be your email address or the username that you chose uh, whenever you set up the no IP account. So we chose Nelly Security, and since our email address seems to be really long, it won't let us put the whole thing in there. So if you have an, an exceptionally long email address, you might just want to use the regular username that you chose. That's what we're going to do here. So just go ahead and input that. All right, Alright, and then after you have your username in, you want to input your password that you used whenever you created the no IP account. After you're done inputting your domain name, your username, and the password in those three fields, you want to make sure the enable box up here is checked or filled in white. If it's not, be sure and uh, click in that to make sure that's enabled. Basically what that does is enable the service. And whenever you're done, click the OK button at the bottom. Now you should be back at the network settings screen. One more thing we want to check is DDNS at the bottom make sure there's a check mark beside that also and here you're gonna see where it says no IP DDNS and your username
Whenever you're finished, click the Save button at the bottom to complete the changes. Whenever typing your hostname into the URL bar in Internet Explorer, be sure and put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then type in your hostname. Here you can see we're going to input our host name into PSS. And as you can tell, we didn't need to put the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Next we'll show you a picture of your, a host name put into a cell phone. As you can see in the address field, instead of typing the IP address, you put in your host name without the HTTP. We hope this video tutorial has helped you create and input your DDNS account into your DVR. Thanks again for watching.